man, this is supposed to be a short one, man. <laughs> There's nothing short about this one. When you're down and troubled and you need some love and care, close your eyes and think of me. Thank you for joining us on my catalog. Today, we're going to be checking out our friend Ren, the number one, the number 10. I mean, the 10 as far as ratings go, number one always. But anyways, this story today of Eden uh, is his new video. It just came out a couple of days ago, so we are super excited to hear anything new that Ren got while we still tapping back on his old catalog. So, you know, we big Ren fans, you know? You basically can call us renegades at this point. Anyways, this is the story of Eden, the official music video. Let's get into it. Let me tell you a story as old as time. The story of Adam and Eve. It starts with a God who wanted more. God had just created the heavens and the earth. He had the angels by his side, but they had no will of their own. And so the autonomy to love or reject him was never theirs. All but for one. The once called bringer of light. Lucifer Morningstar. Mm -hmm. Lucifer was the fairest and most intelligent of all the angels. He was the closest thing to God's image. And in his likeliness, Lucifer felt restless. He began to question and doubt God. He doubted the hierarchy opposed upon him. He felt God was arrogant. In his frustration, Lucifer built a throne. The Whew. All right. So first of all, <laughs> I love that he went back to the oldest video game he could find. You know, mm -hmm. explain, you know, like the story, I guess. But um. He didn't explain why Lucifer turned on God. He didn't quite explain that. Yeah, he, he kind of just made it seem like it was like because Lucifer was the, the closest to God that mm -hmm. he was like almost like trying to envy him and started questioning him, right? Yeah. And that's not really what happened. It was the jealousy because we were created in God's image and he was the closest like what he was talking about. Mm -hmm. He was the closest one before us as being as close to God's image. So it was that jealousy, but also the same thing too. He gave them the choice to love him or not, right? Well, you see how in the beginning he was talking about how the angels, all of them like were worshiping him because they had no choice. That's how they created, right? But when he created men and women, he actually gave them a choice whether to worship him or to love him. They gave, he gave them that free will, mm. right? And then Lucifer kind of took advantage of that. So he's like, okay, they're going to have free will. Well, then I'm going to try to oppose my my will onto them. Yeah. Yeah. Hell of a story. I'll tell you that. And I love this video. This video. Yeah, is the old like, school video game. Like yeah, the 16. Yeah. Was the 16 uh, byte like yeah. video game? Old school? Yeah. Smart, yeah. Six, 16, eight, 16 or 8 byte. Yeah. Yeah. Like it yeah. reminds me of like, like Zelda. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Final Fantasy kind of <laughs> on the Super Nintendo. Yeah, I, I would say it's more like Zelda just because even from even how they, they're even captioned, like how he's doing like like them yeah. talking, it almost looks like the Zelda boxes and everything. He was the closest thing to God's image. And in his likeliness, Lucifer felt restless. He began to question and doubt God. He doubted the hierarchy opposed upon him. He felt God was arrogant. In his frustration, Lucifer built a throne that stood even above God's and declared mutiny. A war ensued. God, being all-powerful, came out the victor and banished Lucifer from the heavens and exiled him to earth. Once again, God was alone with his power. Perhaps from loneliness, perhaps from curiosity, perhaps from a desire to share love, God began to work on his greatest project yet, a being that would mirror himself, the human, two humans specifically, Adam and Eve. They were placed inside a paradise built for them on earth, the Garden of Eden. In the garden, God placed a tree that bared fruit that would grant anyone who ate it powers bestowed only to a God to tell good from evil, left from right, to live righteously or to sin. He named this the tree of knowledge. God told Adam and Eve they could eat whatever they wanted in the garden, but never the fruit from the tree of knowledge. And if they disobeyed him, it would be punishable by death. Yo, but that's what's crazy. Mm -hmm. If you could eat any fruit in the garden, Adam, what are you doing? Eve, like, where, where you at? Like, 
What are you doing? Eating yes, the only was, tree they told was, you not to. You know what's crazy? Just as curious as God was, there was they was just as curious as he was. Well, it was it was Eve that actually convinced Adam. Oh, Ad, go Adam, Adam didn't want to do it. So <laughs> Eve was actually <laughs> yeah, Eve is actually the one that actually uh was the downfall. Because yeah. Adam was actually like, no, he was on God's side. Like, no, we have you know so much to be thankful for. Why do we need to go for after that tree? He was the one that was speaking we reasoning behind not doing it a man would say that yeah and eden was very curious that she was like well what's so special about this tree right she was the one that was like well i i need to find out for myself she was the one that was like trying to push them to, to do it yeah and then that's you know obviously the snake and and having lucifer come in when he said curious who's he talking about like i thought he was talking about the human because it's in god's image he was talking about god is curious God, the creator of everything, is curious. That's yeah, not what he said, right? No, I thought he said. he said. I thought he yeah. meant it like us humans. Now we are curious as no, gods no, no. because he, we are in God's image. Now, fast back, back to no, yeah. He said he said that before he created them, right? Yeah, he yeah. was saying that they, he they, he was thinking that he was lonely and curious. He was lonely by himself. Yeah. yeah. Who was God? God, which, which that part doesn't make sense to me because like that's not how it happened too. Like yeah, it, the, like the timeline's a little off because. And then how did he send Lucifer down to Earth when when he created Earth and stuff like that? That was it's all within the seven days of yeah. when he created the whole Earth, right? No, that doesn't make was, no sense. I understand yeah. what you're saying. Wait, did sure. he create the Earth or did he just create the humans? Who no, he created he created the heavens and the earth. Like he, he did it he all in a seven day period. Lucifer, bro. He created everything. He created yeah. every angel. He's the creator of it all, bro. Oh, that's right. I forgot because he did he just because he created it doesn't mean he he aged it. Yeah, okay, never mind. Go ahead. And that's what I was kind of confused too, because he said that he banished Lucifer down to earth, right? And then he created the humans. But then it's like how did that timeline doesn't make any sense? What I realized about God, there's no the timeline does not exist. There's no timeline. You could say like God, like from what I know a little bit of religion, because I'm not really into religion. But for what I know, like he said, seven days to told him to build everything. But just because he built the world in seven days doesn't mean the earth was seven days years old. The earth could have been a billion years old already when he created it. Just like how he created Adam and Eve. He didn't create them as infants. No, he created he them as adults. Yeah, but in Genesis, the way it breaks it down is he, he talks about each day what he created. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm saying what I'm saying is like I get that, but I'm saying just as you create something doesn't mean uh that person's only a day old. He could create something that's already 30 years old. Because yeah. obviously Adam and Eve is not uh, one day years old. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you know no, I, I totally understand what you're saying. Yeah, his creation is already at a certain age. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like Adam and Yeah, Eve, you're, you're talking about the timeline on when they were like, but yes, when they're yeah, created yeah. Is, is that, but like you're talking about like the timeline of like the, the life, like lifespan. Lifespan, like, yeah. Life span, what, what he yeah. actually, the, what he aged them, right? Yeah, because yeah, he could create an 100 year old person. That's what he, I was saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah any, I mean, because it's, it's humans, but he created the angels way before that. So he created Lucifer way well, before that's that. Well, that's the only thing that makes sense because, you know, the earth is a lot older than that dinosaur has been around for a long time so that's the only way to think that makes sense that he can create anything any age span whenever he wants you know what i mean yeah, you know and for the atheists out there i know like you're probably like offended or whatever we're not saying that this is how life was created we're saying this is how it is in the bible or the quran yeah, yeah which correct. i'm sure in the torah as well because they, they're very similar so we not saying this is how it was created and Ren is wrong. I'm, we're not saying that, <laughs> okay? Yeah. All we say it is his timeline of the Bible it's is old. wrong. But God being curious, that's not a thing. How can you be curious if you're the creator? Left from right to live righteously or to sin. He named this the tree of knowledge. God told Adam and Eve they could eat whatever they wanted in the garden, but never the fruit from the tree of knowledge. And if they disobeyed him, it would be punishable by death. The basic way the story of Eden is told is that Eve was tempted by Lucifer in the form of a serpent to eat a fruit from the tree of knowledge. Convinced, she bit the fruit. She passed it to Adam and he did the same. Mm. Suddenly, ultimate knowledge filled their minds and they realized they were naked and felt shame. God discovered this betrayal and felt angry. He exiled Adam and Eve and cursed them with the life of a mortal. They would work, they would bear children, and they would die. The fate of a human. 
Now look deeper. In the story, the serpent tempted me by telling me I would gain ultimate knowledge and that God would spare me. Both were true. This wasn't some great deception, meaning that Satan, in the likeliness of God, perhaps understood his intentions. In fact, the only lie uttered in the Garden of Eden was by God, who did not end up condemning Adam and Eve to death. This could be seen as an act of mercy, but the sheer fact that the tree existed and that humans were initially cut off from this knowledge may imply some part of God was afraid that if humans were granted the gift of perception, they, like Lucifer, would, would have the power, power to reject him too. too. The fact that there stood a beautiful tree that could grant this knowledge in the first place implies that a small part of God supposedly all-knowing, perhaps wanted and intended the humans to bite too. In the Bible, Satan was an exiled angel of free will. Yo, that's another thing is like, what are you rejecting, bro? Like, he created us. He gave us all this free will. Yes, okay, we ate the apple. Let's, let's, let's go by the book. Okay, the apple, blah, blah. But why reject it? Like, I don't understand that. Like, why? He's the creator, bro. Like, if you create something, like you create a car, you sit back. You know what I'm saying? You're not the car. Oh, yeah. He was afraid that we would reject him, right? If we had the knowledge. But reject right? what? What are of, we rejecting? Of perception. That he's the creator? Because if he, if we already accept him as the creator, there's nothing to reject. There's nothing to fight. God is well, not. He, he's him. saying that he, he thought they would, would turn like how Lucifer did. Right. Because at first Lucifer was on his side and by his side and everything. Right. He was he was the most loyal. Yeah. But then when he said that he created, you know, well, obviously we know it's from when he created humans. But he's saying that if if anything would happen or if they would have had it's a mind of their own and try to, like, overthrow him or, or think that he's not as great as he actually is, that part would make them veer away from. Him. I'm saying, though, Lucifer has a great reason. Well, like, or <laughs> Christ Lord, you know what I mean? <laughs> no, no, he does have a great reason to be mad. I mean, he's he's been loyal to God for so long. How could you possibly put somebody in front of him? You know what I'm saying? Or somebody that you love more, his favorite creation or whatever he says. But, but this is what I'm saying. What is there to reject about God? God is not making you do nothing that you don't like in your life. OK, everything that you do is you. He gave you this life. Now, what you make out of it is up to you. But what are you rejecting when it comes to God? What are you God. rejecting? God. So you're rejecting God. But what are you like? What is the rejection? Like, Well, I, I think it's more the rejection of like just like how Lucifer re rejected him. Right. Is he's not as all powerful as I thought. And all this like you start having second thoughts about him. Right. No, like no, no. before yeah, it but was Lucifer, Lucifer, like he could do something like that. Right. Because he, he's been around for so long and he got put something in front but we are what we got put in front so how do mm. we have the nerve to reject <laughs> anything like well, who that, are that, we that's why we... that's why lucifer is the one that actually you know is the one that actually convinced them because that, that thought never even came into their head until lucifer came down there as the snake as the serpent right and then convinced eve first like well who is he to tell you that you can't eat this fruit right He's the one that put that seed in, in their mind. They weren't even thinking that. They were fine. They were walk like like they said. They were naked. They were well, running around naked because they were so free. They had no worries. They were enjoying life. Everything was given to them. You know, everything was great. And then it wasn't until literally Lucifer came down and said, "Well, why did he tell you not to do this one thing?" Does that make okay. sense? No, no, no. It, it makes sense with Lucifer, but like I just, it doesn't make sense for a human to reject God. Yeah, in in hindsight, now we're looking back and it's like, why would you ever do that? Like, the, the make it yeah. makes no sense. And, and knowledge, knowledge. I mean, like, you you got to be stupid. That's, that's a free knowledge. will. That's that's no, no. all it comes down no, to. Is free free will. will is fine, but this is what I'm saying. No drink, right? You having knowledge, right? To and now you're gonna reject God because you have knowledge, right? Your knowledge ain't creating the creation that God has created. You are nobody, bro. What knowledge well, did what they happen, have? What happened? What happened was when they when they bit that, it, it wasn't just like them giving them all the knowledge. They gave them different perspectives too that they never thought about, right? Mm -hmm. So when they did that, is it wasn't just like all the knowledge that they they were able to accumulate, but it was also different perceptions that they shouldn't even have. No, but, but you understand how stupid it is. No, absolutely. For, yeah. Do Do you understand what I'm saying? To, no, to yeah. Reject or or think you are 
better or just as great as something that created you and everything you know? Like, what are you talking about, bro? Yeah. <laughs> like, you know what yeah. I mean? There's always like a thing with God, too. It feels like he be punishing people that don't deserve it. You know, it's kind of like a society nowadays. You know, they're trying to punish you for something your ancestors did. You know what I mean? Like, what are you talking about? I've never done any of that. I've never ate the fruit. You know what I mean? Adam mm -hmm. and Eve, I don't even know if I'm related to them. You know what I'm saying? Like, who really are they? You know, you gotta what I'm be saying? related to them. No, 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 no. But I'm just yeah. saying, like, they ate the apple. It wasn't me. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I shouldn't be dealing with like Lucifer's wrath out here. You know what I mean? It's wrong, y'all. You know, for like generations to feel the Lucifer's wrath because, like, this this whole like confusion about like us being as gods or any of that. Yo, bro, you can't compare to the Creator. Because the creator created everything that we're talking about. There's yeah. nothing to be talked about. You know what I mean? And if it comes to like, am I going to follow a human, Lucifer, or God? I'm definitely going with God. He created all of y'all. You know what I mean? Why am I going to go yeah. with the bootlegged guys when I could go with God? You know, the, the original, the OG. Get out of here, son. It's just ego, right? It, it's men's ego and things like that that, that make you want to follow men or make you even want to follow Lucifer. It's like what you just said, like Lucifer was also created by him, right? Yeah. Lucifer had to start his own army against God because he felt like he was as close to equal as anybody could be to God and he went against him. I'm going to go over and follow the guy that created me and created this other guy and I'm going to yeah. follow this guy. I'm like, yeah. that doesn't make any sense. Man, man, falling man, woman, or Lucifer just doesn't make sense. Following yeah. anything but God. Because he's known as the creator. If he wasn't known as the creator, yeah, I wouldn't believe in God neither. But since Lucifer is saying he's the creator, the humans are saying he's the creator, he got to be the creator. And if he is the creator, I'm only going to follow the creator. You know what I mean? That's the real thing. You know, everybody else is just like what he made. He or she made. Oh, it made, you know? Or it made. <laughs> <sighs> Man, yeah, this, this, is video, this video is one, crazy, yo. though. Yo, yeah, that's insane. It's, like, what he's doing quality? with the voices too, and with he's bringing in like everybody's like different voices. Mm -hmm. It almost seemed like that one of those voices was like Neil Gra uh, deGrasse. You know what I'm talking about? That that scientist that that is always on like Joe Rogan. And oh, stuff. Tyson, oh. Tyson, something. Yeah, um, Neil deGrasse Tyson or whatever. Yeah, yeah, something. Yeah. Mm, I didn't even catch that. If I you hear the the different voices, one of those sounds like like that. One of those voices were coming from him. Yeah. And now uh, one of the voices had that kind of like, like that deep, like a uh, bass behind it. Um, yeah. It's like a fairy and almost, you know, and then him and the girl switching back and forth. Yeah. This is like a story time with Ren right now. Yeah. Eden was by God who did not end up condemning Adam and Eve to death. This could be seen as an act of mercy, but the sheer fact that the tree existed and that humans were initially cut off from this knowledge may imply some part of God was afraid that if humans were granted the gift of perception, they, like Lucifer, would, would have the power to reject him too. too. The fact that there stood a beautiful tree that could grant this knowledge in the first place. Yo, I'm sorry. There's another thing too. Lucifer loves God. He just doesn't like us. He hates us because he's jealous of us and how much God loves us. So Lucifer, it's not he turned on God. And now we have the same knowledge as Lucifer, and we understand that we need to turn against God. I don't like that message. Well, I don't understand. How does he hate humans when humans wasn't around yet, when he got banned? Who? Oh, no, no. But he, he remember, we explained to you, like, if you go with this story, it doesn't make no sense. Uh, like, the timing doesn't make no sense. What happened is Lucifer was way before us. He's been the top number one creation of God, you know? like Like, he's been like his most beloved angel, most beloved period, what he has created so far. And then the humans came. But when the humans came, God shows so much love to the humans. And Lucifer started getting jealousy and like, yo, why do you, why do you put these guys in front of me? Who are these guys? They ain't nothing. Like, do you understand what I'm saying? And he is out to prove to God that they are nothing. He's not hating God because he knows God created him. You know, this is another like, like, you know, wrong thing here. Like, I don't, I don't believe that. Like, if, if, I mean, we don't know if any of these stories are true anyways, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying the way the story goes, it's like, it doesn't make no sense for Lucifer to hate God. He's only jealous of humans. 
That makes sense, actually. That makes a lot of sense. Because he's making us do bad things. He can't make God do anything. <laughs> yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, no, that, that makes hella sense. Yeah. Stop condemning Adam and Eve to death. This could be seen as an act of mercy, but the sheer fact that the tree existed and that humans were initially cut off from this knowledge may imply some part of God was afraid that if humans were granted the gift of perception, they, like Lucifer, would have the power to reject him too. The fact that there stood a beautiful tree that could grant this knowledge in the first place implies that a small part of God supposedly all-knowing perhaps wanted and intended the humans to bite too in the bible satan was an exiled angel of free will humans are exiled descendants of adam and eve also with free will not only have we shared a similar fate to the devil we were also both constructed we in the image of our creator constructed in the image of our creator meaning our behaviors in some shape or form imperfectly echo his. We could assume that this kind of God has his doubts, but as the most powerful being in the universe, he has no one above him to turn to with questions, and no one to doubt but himself, an incredibly lonely and isolating existence. We must only assume that the common thread between God, Lucifer, and us is the desire for more, an eternal curiosity, a desire perhaps birthed from a seed of loneliness. If not, why would we exist in the first place? The constantly looping bittersweet irony is whether gifted by some omnipotent God or simply a byproduct of billions of years of evolution, here we stand in 2023 as creatures with free will, the only creatures that understand and define good from bad, creatures with the potential of a God. And what do we do? With that free will, my friends, we willingly walk to the edge of a cliff. In the name of progress, we jump off the precipice. The empires we build ravage the earth. The natural order of things are necessary to survive. Any systems which do not honor homeostasis eventually perish. Our free will overrides our own biological instinct. We can take more than we eat. We can kill more than we need. We can willingly create weapons with the potential to burn everything we've built to the ground. We willingly decide to bow at the altar of greed, the most insidious and destructive of all sins. We put our faith in corporations who pose as rulers. We willingly allow ourselves to be led by outdated power systems, ran by corrupted politicians and bloated dictators who claim domain and dominion over an open, I'm free now. We willingly elect the corrupted when the decision was always ours to build something better. We willingly create and impose separation because of beliefs that we are force fed through our phones and television sets. We always had the will to reject these things, but we adhere to them as though they were the laws of physics. Mm. War, famine, pestilence, greed, these aren't things imposed upon us by an all powerful God or by his demonic adversary. They are here because of us not because of free will, but because of our inability to use it. We must be motivated to be better, not out of fear of punishment of an eternal damnation, but because the choice exists, because we love ourselves, because we have the power to absolve ourselves of so much unnecessary suffering. Take a second to be in this very moment. In this moment, how much suffering is happening all over the planet right now? How many people are dying of illnesses that could have easily been cured, but aren't because of the selfishness and greediness of humanity? How many people break their backs and reject their own passions to simply afford bills and food? How many of us crave distraction from existence? How many of us numb that pain in whatever way necessary? How many children are being abused? How many people sleep cold and hungry on the streets? How many of us become cogs inside a machine that is destroying itself? How many soldiers have been forced to fight in me meaningless wars, how many humans have killed for ideals they don't believe in or understand, how many people have died for the greed of another man, and how much of this was avoidable. As written in the Bible, Satan was not condemned to hell, Satan was condemned to earth. He lives there amongst other creatures with free will, who always had the choice and still chose their own undoing. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our self-made hell. The bittersweet irony is this is a creation of our own design. 
I'll leave you with this. Consider what you've done here today. You have worked together as individuals collaborating to form a giant neural network, a hive mind capable of achieving incredible things. We have lent on each other's strengths to solve puzzles and decipher riddles, and we've done so to win money. Imagine applying that same spirit and determination to creating the closest thing we have to paradise here on earth. By using the power of collaboration, we can work together to even the playing field for everybody. Our dystopias can become utopias. Our jahannams can become jannah. Our hells can become heaven right here on earth. And this sentiment applies to atheists, agnostics, and believers alike. Myself, I'm an agnostic who believes. I believe in us. We must do better because we can choose to. We must be better simply because the option exists. Thank you. Mm, I agree with all of that. Everything after, uh, you know, the Bible session um, was fine. I agree with everything he Me was talking about. Oh my God. Yo, he broke Man. it down. Like, I love where his mind is at. I got no disagreements with anything he said in there. That was fire. That was fire. The visuals were super duper fire. He took us everywhere. It is true. Everything that he was saying. We do bring our men and women into war for absolutely no reason. We destroy our planet for no reason. We don't need Lucifer to do it for us because we do it like we are Lucifer sometimes. You know what I mean? That's why some of us are like so extreme and you look at the news and you're like, God, how can somebody do that? You know what I mean? That's because of, uh, you know, what the machine feeds out here. Any touch base with the machine. She, oh, nobody ever talks about the machine. Now, remember Remarkable, he was talking about, you know, like Warner Brothers and Disney and stuff like that wouldn't take him because he yeah. goes against their narrative. Yeah. You I see, he went all out on his narrative, bro. He's a yeah. one-man army. Let's go, son. He holding it down. You know? It's really brave to talk like that, you know? Because you exposing some, like, deep, deep secrets, you know? And they shut you down for stuff like this, you know? So, shout out to Red for this one. It's tough. Yeah, it was yeah. good. What I was going to bring up is, yeah, I definitely love everything he said at the end of that. Like, nail on the head, right? It doesn't matter what you guys believe or where you're at with whatever right religion or belief or whatever but we all know we have the free will to do what we want like to make the change right to do things rather for good than than for evil right and then that whole narrative at the end and how we're using this free will is is terrible we're using all this efforts to gain money right to get power greed all these things have controlled the narrative of the world now versus we could be using that same kind of energy and actually bettering ourselves helping others making sure that we don't have people on the street starving, things like that, people who are getting sick, right? Being more humanitarian, right? Making sure that we're looking out for our fellow people rather than trying to find the best way to better ourselves and, and help our own situations out, right? We should be collectively helping everybody, right? That's what we put on this earth for. The best thing that you could leave behind is what you impacted with other people, right? That's, what, that's how you're gonna be remembered, right? And people are not gonna remember how much money you have when you die, right? You might be famous for a while, but then after a while, once that money goes away and you've been gone for a while, people aren't going to remember the money you had. People are going to remember the things that you did, right? And especially the good things. Those are the things that are going to outlast your lifetime, your kids' lifetimes, all of that stuff, right? Yes. It's, it's the good that you impacted to other people and that you helped out, right? So I, I agree with everything at the end of that. The, the crazy thing that I that I thought he was actually going to mention and talk about, especially since he went so in-depth with, with the Garden of Eden and with the Lucifer story, he was... I thought he was actually going to bring up Lucifer being, you know, the, the head of the ministry of music, because that's what he was doing in heaven originally. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's literally Ren's, Ren's world is music. And you can even see at the end there where he talks about how we, we can get back to each other so that you can see him performing and collaborating with other people. And that's mm -hmm. how he's kind of using his platform to give back. Right. Mm. I'm surprised he didn't mention that that part about Lucifer, because Lucifer was known. He was the, the head of ministry of music. Right, he was known as the most. Maybe he didn't guy. know that though, because you know he had his time. I didn't know that either. <laughs> I didn't know yeah. that. Yo, that's yeah. cool. That's cool. This shit remarkable, but like that's that's phenomenal. I didn't know that. Uh, I'm sure Ren didn't yeah. know that. So either. that's why they talk about it even here on Earth. They they talk about it all the time. Is like the music that we listen to. That's how Lucifer is kind of using it. Like all the the negative music that it's you hear now and why it's so popular. Right, mm -hmm. it's because that that he's pushing his motive. 
right? Because that's what he was known for was music. And so that's why it says whatever you digest and stuff like that is that's how they, like, they're getting to you is a lot of times it's music because usually everybody listens to music, right? It's that feeling. And he was known for doing that in heaven. His praise and worship for God was that's what he was known for in, in heaven. Was That's what Lucifer was doing. So I like that you say collectively, right? But mm -hmm. I believe not only collectively, we need to collectively understand that we are individuals and we don't have to follow the next bad seed into whatever they trying to like create. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like we yeah. don't have to like agree with everything. Like we should just agree with what we feel is right. What we feel is the right way. You should live your life the way you want to live it. Because if you live it based on the outside, you are a slave to your existence, basically. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Your entire life, you're just living as a slave, you know? So being free-minded, it, it also means having that freedom to, like, be yourself, you know? Like what you like. Dislike what you dislike. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, just be yourself. Like, live your actual gift that you got, which is life, you know? Yo, this is... A, this, this is what is deep, bro. Like, this yeah. dude, like, yo, he be going in, bro. And when it comes to like politics and and mm -hmm. just like all around humans, yo, he got some nice stuff to say, you know. Like I understand like his his Bible scenario, like he didn't have that correctly in the beginning, you know. But yo, everything after that, yo, he had it on the money, bro, on yeah. the money. Yo, he opened so many eyes, yo. This is a threat, bro. That's what this is. I was expecting it to turn into a song at some point and it just like yeah. he just he just went story time like ran yeah. all, all the way and no, i thought he was I trying like to it, though yeah no it was it was super dope i like the animation this that is he what did i mean before. yeah he needs to make movies he's TV a good story he's a great storyteller he definitely keeps your attention and then he hits he hits the major points right where he really gets you involved especially at the end he his endings they always tie in so well even when like like what we talked about in the beginning even when we went like following along with the timelines and those kind of things at the mm -hmm. end he killed it like everything he did at the end was like perfect like he, he built it up no matter whatever you believe on how the story went right with eden and all that stuff well even if you don't believe in that story the ending of this video you could definitely relate to you know how the world is right now right this is all factual stuff he's not like he's, he's giving you something he's, he's still making you form your own opinion right he's not telling you this is what you need to do but he's showing you like this is the result of what we're already doing right now so do you think we're on the right track or do you think that we should be no. doing something different with this I, I was under the impression at first he the he devil's to gonna a... win and it's always gonna be winning but i don't think there's a winning uh losing situation like he it said is a winning, read, it is a losing situation i don't look at, think look so at our, look at what we're, looks going on right now in the world bro what's going on out there i, I can't i can't speak on that bro yeah but i know what's going on with no drink i know you no know. i know that you know what I'm, I'm talking about, I'm talking about for the human evil, I'm talking bro. about for the human race yeah, in yeah, general. The, the devil's always gonna win. Yeah, but you're not evil, bro. No, that's I know why, that. That's why you're my best friend. You know what I'm saying? So like, oh, don't worry it. about them, I bro. It, brother. <laughs> it's just us, man. They don't matter, yo. Yo, at first, honestly, I thought he was trying to have us join a cult, yo. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like I'm like, yo, what is this guy? Because he doesn't seem yeah. too religious. He seems like he wants to attack God in a sense. You know what I'm saying? In a sense, mm -hmm. you know. And then he went into the politics and everything else. And I'm like, yeah, I'm with you, son. <laughs> you know. But yeah, at yeah, first it felt like like an intro, or or uh, drink the Kool Aid a presentation <laughs> of a cult. Right? You know, like yeah. you guys want to join me? I'm Jim Jones. <laughs> <laughs> take this drink <laughs> no i loved it it was dope i wish more people was, i wish everybody would see this everybody everybody needs to see this because it's crazy how especially how we treat each other just because based off our skin color of our religion just have a of an ideal it's just we just turn our backs on each other like like nothing like <laughs> It's, we all is what we got you know what i mean like <laughs> you all in this together we know? all in this together yeah. we all live in the same yeah. planet we all eat the yeah. same food we just like like he was saying that's 100 true greed is is a mother <laughs> no, it is crazy is like biggest downfall of mankind period you know it has been showing through history oh greed yeah is like greed is what makes all those like uh evil people come out on top you know what i'm Ooh. saying the power mm -hmm. heads and we always like oh shut down the elites but like we never shut them down they just get stronger and stronger you know yep yeah and kind of to your point too king when you're talking earlier about you should be an individual right and have your own beliefs and all those things right 
and, and make sure that you're solid with yourself first before you start contributing yeah. and doing all that stuff. But I think it's also good to also when you're doing that is you need to have the clear mind of everybody's not going to be on the same page as you too. Exactly. I think the biggest problem too that we have as a human too is we don't like to be work collectively unless somebody is of like mind of us, right? That's true. So that's why there's all this segregation that keeps happening, right? Yeah. The segregation keeps happening because this person doesn't think like I think. So I don't want him. I don't want to. I don't want to partner with this dude because this guy. I don't believe yeah. in what he believes in. But that's not how we should be, right? Even though I'm a Christian or whatever, you know, you're Muslim, you're whatever. I shouldn't be like, oh, I'm not gonna talk to this person because he doesn't believe the same beliefs I believe yeah. in. I'm not gonna collaborate yeah. with this guy. And that's how people are in this world. Unfortunately, yeah. that's how they yeah. split people with religion, with your beliefs. That they, they try to segregate you as much as possible. If you don't have a like mind at somebody, you shouldn't you shouldn't talk to them. You shouldn't be around them. You shouldn't do things, right? And people shun you for it too. They're like, dude, why you hang out with that person? You know he believes this or th this is how he acts it's like that's not how you're supposed that's not how we're meant to be on the wall right yeah. you're supposed to have the free will to have all these things because we all experience different stuff right exactly. the reason why we got to the places that we are in life is because our life journey has took us different places which is why we believe the things we believe right mm -hmm. so if that's the case we should also be like-minded and make sure that we are not just collaborating with people who just think like us because there's no progress in that if I'm only hanging out with people that believe the same thing I believe in, what's the progress? We're all thinking the same thing all the time, right? Yeah. There's no progress in that. We're, we're, gonna, we're not going to try to think segment. outside of that either. You know, more yeah, either. and we're not going to accept other people who don't think that too. And then that's yeah. that's seclusion. That's like, not, that's bro. Not <laughs> you it's know, the opposite of collection. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At any given moment, that can come to your front door. Destruction, war, greed, all that can come to your front door. It happens in other countries all the time. Like they're just chilling and bomb, boom, bombs, dropping. Like they didn't expect that. That's what I'm saying. Like as humans, we just need to be better. Like I understand like my life is great right now and I enjoy my life and I have a great time. I try to make the best out of it every day. But I'm also have that fear in the back of my head that something bad can always happen at any given moment. Like Pearl Harbor, nobody expect that to happen. They were just chilling and boom, same thing in Japan. Like all these war shit can come to your front door in a heartbeat because of, of, of greed and bad politics and, and evil people, dictators and... Yo, but you know what's bad crazy about these wars, especially nowadays? Like nowadays, everything gets fed through the media, right? Imagine if the media stopped feeding you war, stopped feeding you the Russia is bad and China is like a, you know, communist and they're killing eight people and all the, all the stuff that they selling us out here in America, right? So it's various stuff, you know, it's mm -hmm. all over the place, not just those countries, all the countries, you know, but they feeding us this stuff and they're making us feel a certain type of way. So when we like decide to join the army to protect our freedom, even though we're going to other countries, and messing up their freedom but anyways when we go out there like we under the impression that we are like you know what I'm guys saying? yeah <laughs> the you know good guys yeah it's yeah so it's like and and over there to them we are they, bad guys we're the terrorists like yeah. i've seen, I seen the people on youtube in different countries and they'll like they'll see white people they're like terrorists <laughs> yeah you see what i'm saying so when like, they do see us because we're bombing them <laughs> or yeah. we're killing their people it's it's a total mis it's a total misunderstanding because of the media and he touched base on that as well you know because the media they feed you all types of stuff you know what i'm saying so if you let the media the outside world feed you bro yeah you're gonna be in a bad space you're gonna be in hell for sure because you're thinking of all the bad stuff that hasn't happened yet you're already like picturing it it's probably gonna come to your doorstep more than likely the outside media that's what they bring in they bring that bad so like in your life it feels like everything is bad it could come to your doorstep oh my god that fear you know what i'm saying yeah but, the but anger, uh, they feed off of that bro mine's is not more media because i don't watch media i don't watch the news or anything mine mine is more based on history events yeah you know what i'm saying like i know what what humans have done to other humans i know what uh, humans have conquered other countries i this has nothing to do with the media i mean believe me i agree with you the media is crazy that's why i don't watch media i don't watch the news most of my news information comes from you guys or youtube if i watch youtube i watch a quick segment or something but my base of my, my fear is based off history of what have we done to each other but also history is told again through the media right like like they make a nice documentary they make like a nice little yeah but most you. of my history i like, learned in high school i mean high school elementary yeah. school no no know. but what i'm saying is is other humans have taught you that 
Like, imagine if you didn't take any of that knowledge. Imagine how we, you would look at life. Let's oh, say yeah. you didn't oh. know about the sunflower seeds, you know, and you see them for the first time, but you never heard of sunflower seeds, never seen them, no nothing, and you're just looking at them. Like, that's real life, yo. That's in the moment. That's actually experiencing true life. Not worried about, like, oh, my God, the J Japanese are going to attack us at Pearl Harbor. My God. Like, you know, like. No, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't live my life. <laughs> like, no, 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 no. I know you don't. Like, I, I'm just saying, like, like, because you said you're going off history. You're not going off the media. I'm yeah. saying the history is part of the media. Like, it's just a, a different type of media, like the newspaper back in the day and so forth. So every history is told, like, so World War II example, right? World War II is explained by the Allies. The Axis forces they lost. So. Everything the Allies are going to talk about the Axis is going to be bad. You know what I'm saying? Mussolini, yeah. Germany, uh, Japan, all bad, 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 bad. You know what I'm saying? Because the winner is telling you the story. The same winners are from World War One as well. Mm. So yeah. this is how this is how I look at it with, when it comes to like history and things like that. Is I'm not really focused on the sides Could, because. American history versus like if we were learning the same stuff and you were living in another country, they're going to tell the story completely different, right? Like if we were learning Pearl Harbor in Japan, Japan's not going to tell anything like how we're telling it here in America, like what happened, right? Because what we are, you know, we're the victim always, right? And Japan attacked us first and this is what happened in Japan. It's going to be like for years, this is what's been going on. And we finally yeah. retaliated, right? It's going to be a completely different narrative, mm -hmm. right? Everybody so has a purpose and a reason why yeah. they attacked, you know? So when I look at that, I don't look at like the sides and see like who was right, who was wrong, what happened, what- They're what, all wrong. What conspired <laughs> to get there, right? Yeah, the they're all wrong. I looked they're at, all wrong. Yeah. yeah, the way that I look at it is the fact that it happened, right? Mm -hmm. Let's go off of the facts. Who cares of how, it, how the bombing started happening? The fact is we did start bombing people and people did die. Like those yeah. are facts, right? People really died. People were really affected. There's families that really got, you know, traumatized from this. They lost a lot of loved ones, things like that happened. No, no matter it, what happened in the sides to get to that war or what happened to get there, what motives people have, whether it was politic, whether it was power, whether it was kind of take control, whatever it was, it happened, right? So yeah. the fact and that we wrong. even got to that point was wrong, right? Yeah. We killed people and we did things that were wrong. It doesn't matter what, whichever way we got there, it goes against everything that we we know to be right and good let's not even think about what they like taught us go off of your actual like feelings how did you feel when you found out these people died women and children and things like that elderly things like that that just got killed that had nothing to do with this war had no let idea what was going on let me ask right? you something real quick remarkable yeah since you're since you're a big believer and a big christian now say I will, i'm a christian i'm a believer right mm -hmm. that i should not kill ever there should be no reason to kill right mm -hmm. now what if i go join the army and i have to kill is my beliefs out the window now or should i'm like nah i'm doing this for the right reasons but still religion no, you're wrong yeah you're wrong. wrong still right no yo that's yo that's, that's why i feel like the devil is yeah. always winning <laughs> that's so funny no that's so they funny can train a christian that. into a murderer <laughs> yeah <They> like that <laughs> yeah but this is this is the crazy part right like in the middle east right they go like oh terrorist 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 right and then like the whole entire world starts getting this notion that muslims are terrorists like the religion preaches like terrorist actions you know what i'm saying yo they misrepresenting the religion for what the terrorists are doing there's people bad people in every single country they kill sometimes like good people go to the army they think they're doing something right. They trying to feed their family and they go out there and risk their life, but they really killing other people, which goes against their religion. It's a hundred percent. There's no Christian that should be killing. There's no Muslim that should be killing none of that. So these yeah. people are just misrepresenting. Like that's why they go like the religious war. There's no religious war. None of them are religion. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. They're all fake. <laughs> Every single one of them. They fake. They fake as shit. Like they religion need to war. take off their flags. They not the religion for certain because they're going against everything the religion is doing you know same thing with like the catholic priests and all of that like crazy stuff yo these people are evil people they not like they they not like, what a true muslim is like if you meet a real muslim bro they ain't nothing but love bro 
Muslims, like, they feed the homeless. They do so much. You know what I'm saying? So for a fake Muslim to come in and kill somebody and go like, oh, I'm doing it for the Islam. It's just wrong, bro. And and it warns you in the Quran, and I'm sure in the Bible, it warns you the same way. Those, those traitors that come in and misrepresent the religion, it's just wrong. You know what I mean? Yeah, even, yeah, because even no, if, what, yeah, if, and if, it shouldn't if, it shouldn't even be about freedom or about even how that works, right? Because like, what you're doing is you're, you're you're fighting for somebody else's motive and 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 greed and whatever the power, whatever the case may be, why we're, we're going to war, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and that's not what you're supposed to be doing at all, right? When you're talking about power and the reason why militaries will form want to just take over and kill everybody and do all that stuff, right? It was for protection of your of your people and your land and and all that stuff and. That's why we give into into that, right? The reason why they take taxes from us is because we're supporting them to to look out for our well being, right? Yeah. Well, now it, it, it's not that anymore. It used to, that's how it started, but now it's we're not we're far away from that now. Now it's all different types of motives. How can we conquer things? How can we do things? How can we we control? You know, like for example, like how can we control oil? How can we control this in this part of this? How can we uh, control different resources? Because that's where the money's at, mm -hmm. right? And we've gone so much that way that it it's not so much about the well-being of, of people anymore. So yeah. militaries aren't, aren't around. Matter. You know, they're going out to other countries now to do these things. And that doesn't make any sense. Because right? even if you use the excuse of, well, I'm going to go kill killers, you know, because you're going to go, you know, fight terrorists or the other army or whatever. They, they out there to kill you, too. So you just like protected yourself, basically. Right. The problem is when you have a war, I know from experience when you a citizen of a war, Yo, these army people, they live the life, bro. Like, like even though their life is dangerous, they live the life compared to us. Because when we out there, we got no guns. We got nothing. No machine guns. No army to back us up. We don't, we don't have no bonkers. No nothing. Like, we are just in the line of fire. And anybody could kill us at any point. You know what I'm saying? Our, our shit could blow up at any point. So it's like everybody loses in a war bro it's just wrong no matter what so whoever declares what yo imagine the presidents bro like the presidents the prime ministers the kings the queens they've been ordering all these deaths bro you got a list of deaths if this bible is true if the quran is true if the torah is true and you go to hell bro oh man i would hate to be you yo. <laughs> i would hate to be you yo you know what i mean but i guess we'll see yeah and I know we've been talking a lot about like religion and, and bringing that up to the forefront. But to be honest, I, I think it has, I think religion is actually starting to become like a really bad word. And I, I think they are using it as like a crutch, like what you said, King. Yeah. I think a lot of people are using like, oh, this is part of my religion and they're doing it and they're not even practicing what their religion is <laughs> no, even talking about. At all. About, right. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like they're Never using that church. as a crutch and <laughs> using this term religion. Like this is our religion. This is what we believe. You're going against our beliefs. So we need to. We need to correct that which is i'm like what are you talking about like that's not how it's supposed to work at all you're literally going against your entire beliefs right yeah. um but <laughs> that's why i hate the word religion because they, they do that and they try to segregate there's just another way to segregate what you believe right it's just religion so that's why when, when people are like oh you're a christian like that's your, your real religion i'm like it, it's not about my religion or anything like that i don't even consider myself like like a christian that's my religion right. i think of it more of a relationship i have a relationship with with jesus and god right mm -hmm. so the way how i live my life and, and the terms on how i know that uh, to be human is right and what's right in my soul in my mind mm -hmm. and the belief falls along the same rights and beliefs that i'm, I'm reading the Bible right? yeah so it's a relationship it's not a religion i don't i don't go to like meetings and do like some cult thing and like we need to take away everybody that's not a christian like, that's <laughs> yeah. not what i do you know what i mean like if i was doing that that would be it'd be insane catholics right? gotta go too. well that's how they make you that, that's, if you watch movies and something like that, that's how they make you seem as a christian is they're like oh these, here goes the christians again they're gonna go yeah. past the, the gays they're gonna go take all these people they're gonna yeah. try to take down chick-fil-a i'm like well, come on bro like yeah. no the, no real God, yeah, yeah, yeah. the one that really believe in this is a relationship it's not a religion with yourself with god and being a better person that's all what it's about it's about you going out there spreading that love and then it being contagious somebody else seeing how you're living your life and they're like why is he so happy why is he doing that and they want the same thing that's the real that's the real it doesn't matter i don't care what you believe if you're doing that and somebody sees what you're doing and they want to do that and they want that same joy and same love and live their life that way that's a win that's the biggest win for me the message mm -hmm. was everything was him to show you how it kind of started and give yes. you kind of a, a narrative, right? Just to start you off so you know where he's going with the end stuff. Because if he would have just gave you all that end stuff, 
people would have been like, bro, he's just like on a different level right now. What is he doing? Like, he wants us to revolt against the machine. <laughs> well, our cogs, like, it, it, that's where everybody would have got from it. But the way that he did it was was perfect. You need to know how yeah. how it started and what, like what happened, right? In the beginning, we had all this free will, and, and then this is what we're doing now with the free will, right? Versus if you just said, hey, this is what you're doing with your free will. This is what you're doing. Are, are you doing it right? Like, if he would have just did that, it would have sound like a revolt. Like, yeah, he just like, like that. That's like what cult, I like thought he, he said, was right? going. Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought in the beginning. I thought he was going there, but yo, he yeah. brought so many great points up, and I love the way he's thinking freely, like an individual, you know. And I respect that. I've I've been noticing that since High Ren, you know. He speaks yeah. literally from his individual aspect, and I can do nothing but respect that. I don't care if you believe in God, don't believe in God. I don't care what you believe in. But when you come in from from your original self and you bring something to the table that you have like from within yourself not from others that you have grabbed you know like they told you to hate this team so you hate that team you know what i mean yeah. I, like you came up with it on your own from from yourself i respect that and i don't, I don't care what you come up with you know because as a human I, I believe me i might be naive but i believe every human has a good in them you know what i mean so like there's always good intentions in a human you know what they do sometimes doesn't seem that way but i believe everybody has good in in their heart you know yeah we need to protect them though too because man he he went after some people in this so <laughs> he, he he called out a lot of a lot of heavy hitters man so let, let's make sure we protect this dude man because yeah ho hopefully nothing nothing's gonna come from this that you know outside of them going after him or anything like that because yeah, right. like th this is this is some serious like he he, he brought up some serious people <laughs> that yeah. you know that people aren't talking about like this right no. not in this way and especially not all in one song and then now you got to go out in public bro it's like yeah you, you so the light cameras flashing yeah so 100%. i mean let's protect this dude man because yeah let's, let's make sure nothing happens for him but that's why we, I said we need he, this dude he's brave bro he's brave yeah. and i appreciate that I appreciate that a lot thank you ren once again killed it murdered it yeah man like what what a so much information in this song that's all i can say yeah it's 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 it's, it's, it's fascinating it's and, and very very interesting and very very new and uh yeah enjoyed it a lot so uh don't forget to like subscribe share you got to tell everybody about my catalog until next time Peace. Peace. Man, this is supposed to be a short one, man. <laughs> There's nothing short about this one. When you're down and troubled.